Hi friends, before going to learn electric heating, let us see the basics of electrical heating. That means what is meant by heat and how the heat energy will be transferred and why the heat energy will be transferred. So all these things will be discussed in this video. Let us start the video. Yeah, these are the heat basics. See, this is the heat. Heat means the flow of energy from warm object to a cooler object. All metals contain heat energy. That means for each and every matter and for each and every object or for each and every body, maybe animal or something else, any object definitely contains some heat energy. And if that object, for example, there is one object, one, and second one is object two, and object one is come closer to object two, definitely object one is having some heat energy, and object two is having some heat energy. So if object one, heat energy of object one is more compared to heat energy of object two, definitely there is a heat transfer when they come closer from heat energy from object one to object two because it has object one has more energy compared to object two and the heat the heat energy transfers up to when both the heat energies are equal and that is the simple concept law of conservation of energy similarly so this is called heat so the flow of energy is called heat and that energy is called heat energy simply so let us see what is heat energy specific definition so heat energy is the result of movement of tiny particles maybe atoms or molecules or ions in solids liquids and gases okay this is the official definition of heat energy and let us see the relation between heat and heat energy heat energy can be transferred from one object to another object and this transfer due to the difference in temperature between two objects is called heat simply heat means transfer of energy that energy is heat energy so coming to heat energy heat energy means it's a transfer of temperature from one body to other body and that transfer is called heat and next the all heats including heat generated by fire is transferred in three different ways this is very important point there are three ways how the heat energy is transferred. One is convection, second one is conduction and third one is radiation. Convection, conduction and radiation. Let us see what is convection and what is con conduction and what is meant by radiation. Convection. It spreads heat in circular motion. In convection, the heat will be spread in circular motion. Let us see why. It transfers heat energy through the air and liquids. As the air heats up, the particles move further apart and becomes less dense, which causes the air to rise up. That means whenever we make, we created some fire, and the air just above the fire will definitely become heated and once the that air will become heated it will go up and become it will be spreaded throughout the in all directions and finally it will become less dense as the air will go up there is a vacuum created at that place because of that vacuum the all other cooler air has to they try to occupy the place and they come up, come at that place and definitely they will also heat it up and they will also go up. So this will become the circular motion in this convection. So the next point will be that only the cooler air below below the below that spot moves in and heats up and created in the circular motion. That thing is called that type of heat transfer is called convection next coming to conduction conduction means transfers heat through solid materials so whenever two bodies are touching each other there is a heat transfer from hotter body to cooler body it 
transfers heat energy through one substance to another substance when they are in direct contact. So here the direct contact is the must. Okay, this is conduction means there should be a direct contact. And the moving the moving molecules of a warm material can increase the energy of the molecules in cooler material. So actually whenever whenever the body is warm or whenever the body is hot the movement molecules in that body is movement is more compared to cooler body and that will increase increase the energy of the molecules in the cooler body in that way the heat will transfer since particles are closer together solids conduct heat better to liquids and gases Okay, this is the advantage as yes, the in solids the molecules are very close to each other so definitely the heat transfer will be more in case of solids compared to liquids and gases let us see the radiation what is meant by radiation radiation is the heat we feel coming from a fire actually once we fired it up definitely there is a convection and even though we are some more far from the fireplace but still we are getting some heat that heat is called radiation radiation warms the air using heat waves that means infrared waves that radiate out from the hot objects in all directions until it is absorbed by the another object okay it will it will keep on giving the waves from the hotter body until it was absorbed by the other body so once other body all other bodies are absorbed the heat then it will be cooled down this is called radiation so this this is the explanation for the basics of heat what is meant by heat and what is meant by heat energy and these are the three types of heat transfer so thank you for subscribing 1300 plus subscriptions and please if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video please share with your friends and family and kindly subscribe to my youtube channel please press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload any new video thank you thank you very much